Hey, Dennis. I've been listening this afternoon to the heartfelt words of your colleagues and your former students, and I can't help but say that I also benefited from your skill, your knowledge, your concern, and most admirably, your patience. But I miss mostly your calm, wry sense of humor, despite enduring inevitable challenges. In particular, I won't forget you DIY modifying your name tag on your white coat to state CDHA, making do with what we've got. However, because of my vintage, I'm allowed to relate a story about you from a longer time ago. Back in the 1980s, Dennis and I were prairie boys and at a wedding social for one of my wife's sisters in Sanford, Manitoba. I was introduced to a quiet, unassuming young man, then with a full head of hair. He asked how my surgical training was going because he was trying to decide whether or not he was going to be a surgeon, that before he was even in medical school. Well, what a wonderful decision you made for your colleagues and students in Nova Scotia and in Canada and around the world, and most importantly, for your patients. Life and the practice of surgery is amazing. For years later, I, and then you, moved east to both practice surgery in Nova Scotia. And you then, despite my vintage, assisted me, you supported me, and you taught me how to do laparoscopic surgery. Both Nancy and I can't wait to see you real soon, perhaps back on the prairie. Go Jets, go Bombers.